everybody, this is Praxis. I'm up on the top level and I'm still working on trying to get these roof trusses together and up here. Uh, every morning I come here I think oh, there's just a couple things I need to do in order to get going and then I can get those roof trusses going but they're just it's a lot of a lot of little things and they keep piling up and I'm still kind of working on all of them. Uh, for example you can see this here uh, today I've cut all of these to be the right angle for the, uh, the trusses to come off of them. Uh, I've uh, cut back the uh, the outside boards to be just the right height. Uh, down here I filled in the missing boards and I had a notch uh, and cut uh, this board both on this side and on the other side had to do a lot of work on that uh, and I still have more work to do uh, the trusses are going to be sitting down on top of posts that are attached on the side here so I still have to attach these guys to the side not this in particular this is just an example they're going to be about a foot and a half high these little posts they're going to rest right down on here but you can see that there's a gap here I still have to uh, cut down some boards uh, that are going to fit right in there so that I can put them in before I put these side posts on. I've been holding off on that though because these things, I'm gonna rip them down from two by fours. I'm just gonna take uh, inch and a half inch sections and put them in there. And that's really a job for a table saw. I've got a table saw back at the Red House. I'm gonna do that work back there. So I'm kind of doing anything else that I can do and you know, before I need to do that. And there's, there's certainly plenty to do. Uh, you know, I, I've gotta mill all these guys up. I've gotta do that. I've been working on the back side over here because I have to make that side look just like this side with all the posts all cut to size uh, with the, the, uh, the wall boards on. So I'm working on doing wall boards on the other side. The point is, is that it, you know, there might be something that's really important to you. For me, for example, it's getting the roof on, but there's so many other little things that are kind of like uh, impediments to jumping onto the, the task that you want to do. And that's just, that's just the reality of it. You have to just you know, realize what you need to do in order to get from point A to point B, because usually there's all these little like decimal points between those two points that you have to take care of. And that's what I'm working on right now. One thing I wanted to mention, because I've gotten a lot of questions on it, uh, the batteries that I've been using. Uh, this is the uh, battery powered saw. It's a Ryobi saw, 18 volts, and I've been using these uh, Ryobi one. Is that like a like a play on like Obi Wan Kenobi? Ryobi one. I don't know if like that was intentional, but they're called Ryobi one batteries, and uh, this is a four amp hour battery. Uh, in putting together all of these uh, roof joists, uh, there were 11 board. I'm sorry, nine boards per joist. 11 joists. That's 99 boards. And I did the entire thing with just two of these batteries. Uh, and I, that was in that involved cutting boards at both ends. So that's 99 times two. Uh, you know, about 200 cuts with uh, just two of these batteries. So they, they hold up really well. So if you're looking for some kind of like a battery powered, non-corded kind of saw situation, I would, I would highly re recommend the Ryobi stuff. It's really held up. It's gotten me from, you know, where I started to where I've gotten to uh, without having to rely on grid power because we just got the grid power in. And honestly, this is working so well, I haven't really even bothered to use the grid po power other than to just throw a battery charger downstairs so I can charge things here instead of you know, doing it at the end of the day. But really, bringing stuff back to the other house at the end of the day was working just fine as well. So that's it. Lots of little projects left to do, but once I get them all done, we can start putting those roof trusses up. That's it. Thanks for watching.